Hello again everybody, this is Nate with Photodex, and today I'm going to show you how to trim the video clips you add to your shows created using ProShow Web. Here I have a show that features a video clip. The video clip is already a pretty decent length, but I think my show will come together even better if I edit this down a bit. To trim a video clip, I'm going to click on the Imagery tab first, then select my video. Down here in the Imagery Tools area, Notice that when I click on the thumbnail for the video, additional tools become available just to the right of the preview. I now have the options to mute the video sound and trim the video. When opening the video trimmer, the first thing that you'll notice are these small images across the top. These are still frames found within your video clip. I can use these to visually line up my edit and let ProShow Web know which part of the clip I want to include in my show. In the middle of the video trimmer is this green bar. This is the time indicator. This tells me how long my video clip is. It's also where I'll go to make edits to the video. I'm going to start at the beginning of my clip. Notice that when I hover my mouse over the starting point of the video, the edge becomes blue, meaning that the clip is now activated. To change the starting point of my video, all I have to do is click and then drag that edge marker into a new position. To help me make a more precise edit, the preview window just below will update as I adjust the length of the clip. The preview will show me a still image from that new point of the video, and will also show me the new start time. To trim some time off the end, I just need to repeat those same steps over here. I'll hover over the edge at the end of my video, and then click and drag the marker into place. So by clicking and dragging, I'm able to take an 8 second long clip and tell ProShow Web to only use these 4 seconds in the middle. Now, all I have to do is press apply to save the changes. Now if I decide that I want to go back and change the edit at any time, there's no problem. Even after building a video, I can always go back and make changes. The original video file will always be part of the show, so when trimming, all you're doing is telling ProShow Web which part of the video you want to use. To adjust the edit, I'll simply go back to the Trim Video option and then move the start and end markers as needed. I can even click and drag the entire time indicator and move the selection to use a different part of the video clip. Once I have it all lined up, I'll click the Apply button again. To wrap things up, all I need to do is click on the Watch tab, and then just rebuild my video. Once again, thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel, or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.